My name is Dickie Choyang. I am one of the candidates for North American Chiku. I am very pleased today to have the opportunity to uh, introduce myself to you in English. Uh, I know that many of the younger Tibetans do not uh, uh, speak Tibetan, understand Tibetan, and since the debates are all taking place in Tibetan, uh, I think uh, this video, self-introduction video, uh, will prove uh, very useful uh, so that you can uh, get a better sense of who I am. I was born in uh, Mussoorie, India. I uh, immigrated to Canada with the rest of my family at the age of four and I currently reside in uh, Montreal, Quebec in Canada. That is also where I grew up. I uh, began serving the Tibetan community from a very young age. I was uh, one of the older children in our community. Uh, it's a very small community. In the 40 years that we've been established here, I think we have never really uh, surpassed uh, 200 in terms of population in the province of Quebec. So I was uh, one of the older children, and so when I was around 13, I uh, began uh, doing a little bit of uh, translation and uh, serving as an interpreter for uh, community events from Tibetan to French, which is uh, the language that is spoken here in Montreal. Looking back at uh, what I accomplished for the Tibetan community, uh, in my 20s, uh, I can think of two uh, key projects. Uh, one was uh, the participation in uh, the first Canadian documentary uh, on Tibet. Uh, the title was uh, A Song for Tibet, uh, produced by uh, the National Film Board, Canadian National Film Board. <laughs> I'm Tibetan, but I've never seen Tibet. My world is very different from the one my parents knew. My father was a trader who traveled on horseback between Tibet and China on journeys that lasted many months. Hmm? I grew up listening to my father's stories of Tibet, its people, its culture, and its tragic history. And uh, the second project is the Tibetan U.S. resettlement project. I happened coincidentally to live in Connecticut at the time when the project was taking place, so I volunteered to serve as a cluster site uh, coordinator and helped uh, 21 Tibetans settle in uh, Connecticut, which is about an hour away from uh, New York City. So after uh, these two projects were completed, uh, I was uh, 27 at the time, and I really wanted to continue learning and uh, acquiring experience so that I could be a stronger advocate for Tibet. And in my mind, it was essential that in order to be that person, I needed to better understand what was going on in Tibet and in China as well, understand the reality on the ground. So from the age of 27, uh, for the next uh, 10 years, I uh, studied, uh, researched, uh, worked uh, in Tibet and in China. I uh, studied uh, Mandarin in Beijing, and then I also studied Amdo dialect in Amdo, and at the same time I improved my uh, Tibetan, my written Tibetan. And uh, completing a graduate degree in Central Eurasian Studies, I also had the opportunity to conduct my field research in Eastern Tibet, in Amdo, and my topic of research was uh, Tibetan medium higher education. So. That was a wonderful under opportunity to better understand uh, the issues related to uh, Tibetan medium higher education. And then uh, following that, I served as the representative for a private foundation, for Trace Foundation uh, in Amdo for a duration of four years. And uh, during that time, we planned and implemented various uh, community development projects. In 2003, I decided to return to Canada and uh, pursue another graduate degree 
uh, this time in planning and international development at the University of Guelph. And uh, following the completion of that degree, I settled in Montreal. I currently work as a liaison agent for the construction of a mega hospital downtown Montreal that's affiliated with the University of Montreal. And in my spare time, I'm involved with uh, various community projects. I've been involved uh, on the, with the project of uh, the Kalantipa website. Uh, I am one of the co-coordinator. The other coordinator is Mr. Punsok Dorji, who is based in Dharamsala. And uh, I uh, ran upon this opportunity to run as uh, Chitu. And I thought this is a wonderful opportunity to serve the Tibetan community if elected. And so I decided to uh, come forth as a candidate. So in summary, uh, this is uh, a general uh, background, individual background. I hope it gives you a better sense of who I am. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give them your